wow, this actually feels stranger. Once you click record and you're just watching yourself on the screen. Hello, good morning everyone, students, uh, YouTube, and the world. Uh, this is Ray Lopez. Uh, this is my studio, Skews the Mess. I'm going to be talking about uh, photography today. Uh, this is the um, first day that we're in quarantine <laughs> because of, you know, Corona. Um, so I'm going to be talking about photography, and uh, I hope you can get a couple of things out of this video. Um, Got to roll with the punches here. Got to roll with the Corona punches. So um, I'm going to be showing you some pictures from a pretty good book called Photography, A Cultural History. Okay, this is what the cover looks like. Right, that's what the cover looks like. And we have... The origins of photography actually started with artists um, and scientists who were doing different things, um, using light in different ways. Um, obviously, the scientists were dealing with chemistry and light sensitivity, and the artists were dealing with light and silhouettes and shadows. So we have here a pretty good little diagram of how artists set up a structure where they could have their model kind of sitting there resting and then they can get the, uh, the silhouette so this is another illustration in the book that's fairly self-explanatory right working with light and a flat support the sitter was sitting and they would draw the silhouette Okay. So fairly rudimentary, try it at home, see if you can get a pretty good shadow silhouette drawing. Right. Okay. Now the scientists were dealing with lenses and camera obscura and trying to get the light sensitive material onto a paper that then could survive exposure to actual light. Right. So we have here the very first photograph that was ever created and frozen and visible in light. Okay, and this is by Nipshi. Excuse my French. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Joseph Nisifore Nipshi. Right? Pretty good stuff. This is by Daguerre, where we have the daguerreotype. Okay. When Daguerre presented his invention to the French government, they paid him a lifelong pension for his invention so long as he revealed his methods and how it is that he came up with the daguerreotype contraption. It was a book called the Hirostik... Oof, excuse my... Again, I'm not... I don't speak a French that good. Here's historique et de description du procédé du daguerreotype et du diorama. History... Oh, now it's in English. <laughs> it's in English in parentheses, guys. History and description of the process of the daguerreotype and the diorama. Okay, so this text was quickly translated into many languages. Again, the French government, they bought it from Daguerre. Lifelong pension, set them up pretty good. And um, that's why photography became so democratic and so accessible to so many people in the world, right? So, what's the other thing I wanted to mention? There's a pretty good little drawing here of artists using the camera obscura to make a drawing hmm no wonder some of those drawings look so accurate because they were literal projections from a camera obscura onto a paper that then the artist drew by hand can anybody do it sure but if you're trained as an artist and someone gives you a camera obscura you're gonna make that drawing sing because you already know how to draw pretty well you're using technology the same way we use technology today 
You're using technology to just do things a little bit faster. Sometimes a lot faster, right? Here's another example of a camera obscura drawing. This one's not as not as sophisticated as the other one, but it does render a very accurate depiction of the scene that was being viewed through the camera obscura. Okay. That about wraps up this video. I wanted to talk a little bit about the very beginnings of photography and how artists were using technology and innovation to create artwork, but also I wanted to talk a little bit about the history of photography and I wanted to show you some samples. Um, I'm probably going to do one more video today about something else. Lopez out. Thank you so much. Like and share. I mean, I don't know. Tell your friends that I'm kind of funny. <laughs> Bye.